Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Maya and today we're going to be talking about how to make ChatGPT your personal assistant. And at this point, AI is literally my job. I'm a marketing student and throughout college, I've interned in various marketing positions and AI has become part of my daily routine. It's become part of my daily job. I use it every single day. And if that's not enough, I'm literally also utilizing and learning about AI in literally every single one of my college classes at the moment. And being in these college classes where AI is being taught, I get the opportunity to listen to amazing qualified experts in AI creation and software engineering and data science. So I feel like I, I know way too much about AI and it's kind of scary actually. I, I actually had a midlife crisis a couple weeks ago after a lecture, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> so with all this knowledge, I have literally made ChatGPT my personal assistant and more at this point. She's my girl, we tight. She keeps me organized, productive, all of that. If you want to know how to use AI in the right way to enhance your productivity and just make your life simpler, then this video is for you. Also, side note, I'm literally filming this video right before I go to the gym, so yeah, that's why I've got my gym clothes on. But let's first get into section one. What is ChatGPT? Um, I know everyone probably already knows what ChatGPT is, but just for the people who don't know or are kind of unaware on what it essentially is, it's basically an AI chat box that you can talk to like a human, but a human with an IQ of 120. And probably even more now because it's constantly learning, literally every single hour. But that aside, if you use it the right way and you know how to use it, you can make it your personal assistant, your social media assistant, your work assistant, and even your therapist. And yes, I have made it my therapist. Also, my financial advisor. I've made it my financial advisor as well. And literally to do all of this, the key is to ask the right questions and know how to prompt it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Okay, section two, why do I use ChatGPT as my assistant? So I don't really have the time to be overwhelmed, stressed, and anxious between my two internships, my five classes in college, graduation around the corner, looking for a big girl job, like all of this, I don't have the time to just be overwhelmed. So I basically turned ChatGPT into my personal assistant. Also, if I'm looking down, it's because my iPad's down here and I have all the sections and notes because this is a lot and I don't want to get disorganized. So I basically turned ChatGPT into my personal assistant by being really intentional with how I prompted it. And prompting is another big thing that we learn in university because if you're not prompting the right way with ChatGPT, you're not gonna get the responses and you're not gonna teach your AI specifically how to work with you because that's essentially how it is. You're training your AI to work with you. Everyone's AI is different. Everyone's AI is learning different things. So you want it to be your voice, your brand, your personality, essentially. So like I said, I basically turned ChatGPT into my personal assistant by knowing how to prompt it. I didn't just ask random questions. Uh, I treated it like an actual assistant. And in the beginning, I told it who I was. I told it my goals and how I wanted it to support me in my daily life. So once I gave it context, my schedule, my to-do list, what I have on my workload, um, who I am, where I am in life, and my priorities, the responses started to align better with what I needed and my life overall. And like I said, I didn't just throw random things into ChatGPT. I literally gave it a job description. I was like, this is what you are. This is how much experience you have. And this is what I need you to do. Like a job description. You need to give it literally what you want it to be. So now I have multiple chats, multiple roles, and literally multiple personalities working for me through one AI platform. So I'm gonna show you how to set up all of these roles and all of these personas. So you can have a personal assistant, a strategist, social media content creator, financial advisor, therapist, best friend, literally whatever you want. And I'm not gonna lie, I do use a premium version because I honestly think it's so worth it. It's $20 a month. And if you think about it, $20 a month for a personal assistant, social media content creator, therapist, financial advisor, four people essentially with an IQ of 120 for $20 a month. Hello, why wouldn't I? Another reason that I use ChatGB ChatGBT Premium is because they have this feature where you can save projects. And this is where I actually save all of my different personas. So in a specific project, it'll hold that memory of all the chats that are created in that specific project. So projects are on the side of your ChatGPT layout. Basically, you'll see your history of chats and projects will be at the top and you can actually name them. So this is where I named them like financial advisor, therapist, social media content creator, work assistant, uh, school assistant, stuff like that. So you can, it retains the memory for that specific persona and that specific chat. And this is for the premium version. And another amazing thing with ChatGPT, 
Saying that is gonna be a tongue twister this whole video, so count how many times I mess up saying it really fast. Another cool thing about the premium version is it turns off memory sharing, so essentially anything you tell ChatGPT won't be used to train or improve the model. So your conversations will stay private and aren't shared with the overall learning model, and you can feel more secure about the personal details that you're sharing with it. And I'm pretty sure this is only with the premium version. So now I'm gonna read you the prompt that, it's like an example prompt that I used to create my personal assistant ChatGPT because that is one of the projects that I have saved. And then I'm gonna put it on the screen, so if you wanna screenshot it here, you can go ahead and screenshot it, but it's gonna be, and you can also tweak it to fit with whatever you need, or if this doesn't align with whatever you need, then go ahead and change some of the wording in it. But it's, hi, I want you to act as my personal assistant. I am a marketing student with a busy schedule that includes school, work, content creation, fitness, and personal goals. I need help staying organized, breaking down big tasks into small steps, and managing my time wisely. From now on, I want you to help me with my daily to-do list, planning my week, holding me accountable, and simplifying anything that feels overwhelming. If I ever give you a brain dump, I want you to sort it into categories and create an action plan. Keep your tone casual, supportive, efficient, like a best friend who is helping me get stuff done. <laughs> so that was my personal assistant prompt. Now let's talk about how I turned ChatGPT into my personal work assistant. So this is another project that I saved. So honestly, it's been such a game changer. I, give, I gave it context about what type of work that I'm doing, the industry I'm in, and the kind of help that I need on a daily basis. And whether that's writing content, organizing project ideas, coming up with outlines, or helping me stay on top of deadlines, I'll ask it to even help me outline emails, keep a professional tone, brainstorm, and it's always super fast. So it's honestly like having a super fast, and I'm an intern, so it's like having my own intern with an IQ of 120. And it helps me get my work done so much faster and so much more productively. So this is the prompt that I use for my work assistant. AI. Hi, I want you to act as my work assistant. I work in marketing and need help with social media content, email copy, blog writing, brainstorming ideas, and organizing my tasks. I want you to take on the job of a social media manager with their plus years of experience. Someone who's seen it all but still has a young, creative soul. You know how to write, engage in copy, follow trends without being cringy and cliche, and get results. I'll give you context as we go. I want your responses to be efficient, clear, and creative, like a seasoned pro who has got my back. So that's another one. That's the one that I used for my work assistant. I also turned ChatGPT into my financial advisor. And while everything that ChatGPT says is not completely accurate and you have to take it with a grain of salt, that's what I do. I essentially will take everything that it says with a grain of salt and then do my own research on the side. But I turned it into my financial advisor and it's honestly been so helpful, especially with creating savings plans, debt payoff plans, especially since I'm be graduating soon and student loans are gonna be nipping me in the butt. So I prompted it to act like a financial advisor with 30 years of experience, someone who has real success helping clients budget, save and build wealth. I gave it context about my financial goals, income, expenses, and the kind of lifestyle that I want in the future. And now I use it to help me budget, track spending habits, and even plan out long-term goals, like I said, savings challenges and paying off long-term debt. And while it doesn't give me real-time market advice or replace a licensed advisor, obviously it does give me the structure and tools and motivation that I need to feel in control of my money without having to spend an exponential amount of money on a financial advisor. Because like I said, I'm in college, I only work an internship, I'm not making that much money. So if I can take $20 a month, and turn ChatGPT into multiple people in my life. Literally, I'm building a dream team. I'm literally building a dream team. There's no other way around it. So this is the prompt that I use to turn it into my financial advisor. Hi, I want you to act as my personal financial advisor. I want you to take on the persona of a financial expert with 30 years of experience who has successfully helped clients budget, save, and build long-term wealth. I'll give you details about my income expenses, saving goals, and lifestyles. I want your advice on how to be practical, non-judgmental, and tailored to my situation. Help me create a realistic monthly budget, tracking spending habits, and plan for future financial goals like travel, emergency savings, or investing. Keep your tone encouraging but honest. So that's what I used for the financial advisor. Now, this one has helped so much. I turned ChatGPT into my personal therapist to be there whenever I need. And honestly, it's been such a comfort. Um, I prompted it to act like a licensed therapist with 30 years of experience. Now you have to realize that ChatGPT is pulling information from all over the web. Literally all over the web. So like I said, it has an IQ of 120. That is insanity. So it can actually act like a licensed 
therapist if you're prompting it the right way. So whenever I'm overwhelmed or need something figured out or just feeling anxious in the moment, I can literally just type something into ChatGPT and it'll give me like the most reassuring, helpful response. And let's be real, therapy is so expensive and I'm not saying that like ChatGPT is going to replace therapy, but it's so expensive. And if you don't have therapy accessible to you and you can't afford it, then this may be a good option to look into. So, the prompt that I use to turn into my licensed therapist is so. Hi, I want you to act like a licensed therapist with 30 years of experience. I'm a college student dealing with a lot. School, stress, work, relationships, self-worth, and trying to figure out life. I want you to respond with empathy, kindness, and thoughtfulness. Help me reflect, process my emotions, and offer journal prompts or mindset shifts when I'm struggling. You're not here to fix everything. You're here to help me feel heard and supported in a safe, judgment-free zone. And then I'm not gonna include this in the prompt, but I did include in my specific prompt, I want you to be Catholic and I want you to be a woman of color or a minority, so in my case, Indian, because I wanted it to be relatable to me and I wanted it to produce content that will help me whether it be like Bible verses or just incorporating God and the Lord into my therapy sessions, which was important for me. But you can change it to whatever you like. You don't have to include that stuff. So the best part of all of this is honestly how customizable this is. You can tailor it to your life and your personality. Whether I need personal assistant, a work best friend, a financial advisor, a therapist, um, I can create separate chats and separate personalities or personas. And if you know how to prompt it, you can basically have your entire you focused support team in your pocket that works 24 seven and costs way less than having to hire actual people. And it adapts to your life, your goals, your energy without any conflict. Hello, that is amazing. Especially for an introvert like me that doesn't even like talking to people. This is like the best invention ever. And honestly, like the, the sad fact is you cannot run from AI because AI is evolving so fast and it's soon gonna be implemented in every aspect of life. And as a marketing student, that was something we were taught in college is like you cannot run from AI. The only way you're gonna get a job after graduation is if you master AI. So that's how I turned ChatGPT into my personal assistant, my work best friend, my financial advisor, my therapist, and all for literally less than what I spend on coffee every single week. And I'm not saying that AI is gonna fix your whole entire life because it won't, but if you know how to use it right, it will seriously level up your productivity and make you feel a lot more organized as a person. And if you're tired of doing it all, literally let ChatGPT take some of the weight off your shoulders because she's there and I gave mine she because I needed myself a girl who gets it. And honestly, if you're having relationship problems or like relationship stuff and you don't want to like tell your friends or like you don't have a therapist on hand, you can turn ChatGPT into one of your girl besties and give it all of that stuff and it'll give you helpful advice. So if this video helped you or gave you any ideas, then let me know in the comments. And if you like this video and content like this, then like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. I'm going to go hit a leg workout now, so wish me luck.